everybody, my name is Jillian and I'm a senior keeper here at Omaha Center Dwelling Zoo and Aquarium. I work in the elephant department where I help care for seven African elephants. Now before we get things started, we do want to have a nice shout out to our lovely volunteers who help make our masks. Um, we never thought PPE could look this good. But let's get to training. We're here to show off some behaviors with Oma. Oma is one of our youngest elephants in our herd. And we're just gonna go through her basic behavior repertoire, kind of get a good baseline um, overall look of how she's acting and feeling today. So a lot of our training is for husbandry or medical behaviors, which means every behavior has a specific purpose where we can help kind of assess overall health and care of the animal. So here we have Oma putting her foot up in the foot port. This is an opportunity to look at the pad or the sole of her foot. We also examine the nails. We're essentially looking for any cracks in the nails, any flaps in the pad, anything that needs to be addressed, we can do so. We've trained all of these behaviors through positive reinforcement, essentially pairing really delicious primary reinforcers or the food you see Becca throwing um, with the behavior and bridging for the behavior being complete. So we go through foot checks, again, just looking for any abnormalities. We want to make sure the feet stay in good condition. Let's get you an up close look, a little sandy. So you can kind of see the treads of her feet collecting a lot of that stuff, but essentially the treads help with traction, just like the soles of our shoes. We want to make sure everything's looking good week to week, day to day. Girl. we get what is that stick in Becca's hand that is called a target, a training tool that helps us guide the animal through the various behaviors that we're looking for. Here we have Oma in a nice overt or side presentation. This is the perfect chance to get our hands on their sides of their skin, just making sure everything is good condition and keeping track of if anything's different from the day before. If we notice any cuts or abrasions or abscesses, we can treat and note it in our um, husbandry documents to make sure we're keeping track of it. Don't want anything to get out of hand. And of course, we're always keeping our wonderful vets in the loop in case we need help with any of the care. All of the behaviors are paired with visual or verbal cues. So the animal learns um, specific cues or words mean different things, as well as our body language. These animals are incredibly intelligent and they read body language like I've never seen before. Even minute changes in how we stand or how we're offering our body um, positioning can help indicate to the animal what we're looking for or what we need from them. Now we're always asking the animal to participate. Um, we're never telling, so we encourage them through a lot of the positive reinforcement and the food, and just the relationships that we've built over the years so that they're interested in participating in training. And generally, if an animal is doing something that we didn't ask, we kind of reflect on ourselves. We're trying to figure out what did I do wrong to confuse the animal. It's never the animal's fault. Sometimes it's, did I stand in the wrong spot? Was my body language confusing? Can they hear me? Is there something else in the environment that's making it hard for them to focus? Kind of break down all of those things in the moment um, as it's happening to try to figure out the best way to set the animal up for success. If the animal still is confused about what we're looking for, then we can break it down into smaller steps to help remind them of the behavior sequence. So that's Oma's tail. We do these tail tactile sessions and presentations and that helps us with our blood pressure. Just like us, we can track blood pressure and we'll collect that data to form a baseline so we can understand if the animal has any health concerns. It's just like a simple blood pressure cuff that we would use on ourselves. We wrap it around the tail and it can inflate and give us those readings. So again, we have Oma letting Abby, one of our other elephants, so we're going to head over here to our gate on this side of the training area. We're going to take a look at the inside of Oma's mouth. 
This is also where we take temperature from. Again, we're just collecting all the data so we can create a document that helps us identify trends and see if there's any abnormal spikes that can indicate a health concern. She's chewing her last piece of food and patiently waiting until she's done. Once she's done chewing, she'll open her mouth, sticking out her tongue and exposing those top molars. Okay. All right. So the mouth is a great opportunity, again, like I said, for those temperatures, but we're also just looking at the overall condition of the mouth. You can get cuts and abrasions or abscesses forming along their mouth or their sulcus. The sulcus is where the tusks enter their face. We do these sessions again to train brand new behaviors or shape behaviors, but also today we're just going through the behaviors that she already knows just to make sure that she's feeling just as healthy and spirited as she was yesterday.